Welcome to our FinTech Advisor Readers. Today we are here with Jovi, CEO and co-founder of, of Barter Pay. Welcome, Jovi. Thank you. And uh, thank you for having me. So let's start uh, with you. Can you introduce yourself to our audience? Of course, uh, as you so eloquently put it, my name is Jovi Overo. I am uh, one of the co-founders and CEO of Barterra Pay. Um, I've been in this in fact, what would you say, fintech payments ad industry for the last uh, 15 years or so, um, working you know, in companies that offer banking as a service, lending as a service. Um, so I pretty much spent the last 10 years uh, surrounding in fintech and, and payments. So uh, Barter Pay, how did the project start? Oh, well, that, that's an, an interesting question. Um, one of the other co-founders, um, Ciprian is his name, um, he had a vision, essentially, that individuals, you and I, should benefit you know, from the huge amount of data that we are putting out into, essentially, the universe. You know, whether it's from social media, um, whether it's from government records or health records, the fact is, you know, you and I and everyone, I'm sure your, your viewers, we are exhausting a huge amount of data and that's only going to set to grow. And it came about in that, well, hang on a second, you know, we are putting out so much data out there, but yet none of us is seeing essentially, you know, any monetary benefits from it, you know, and we don't have that choice. You know, and Chipper and I agreed, you know, that, you know, really in life, everything should begin and end with choice. You know, so if we have the choice to put data out there, okay, we should have the choice to say, do we want to get paid for it or not? And essentially, that was how, how Barterra Pay was born, to give individuals the independence and the choice to monetize and benefit and the utilization of their data. What was the problem that uh, led to the creation of Barter Pay? Well, again, I, I touched upon it, you know, in my previous answer, but the, the, the problem we're trying to solve is twofold. Okay, so let me first describe what Barter Pay is. So Barter Pay essentially is a B2C um, and a B2B you know, lifestyle app. You know, think of it as fintech meets ad tech. And at Barterra Pay, we want to give consumers, so the B2C uh, section, we want to give them the ability to be able to see what data is out there about themselves, uh, the ability to control that data, and essentially the ability to say, look, you know, if, if I'm going to put data out there, I want to benefit you know, from that data, so to monetize that data. And from a B2B perspective, you know, you have businesses, you have companies who are looking to target, you know, you and I and, and, your, and your viewers. And for them to target it, you know, they really want to make sure that they are engaging, you know, with us. And to do that, they need information about us. So if a business wants to target and market their products, they will do so more effectively if they have insights into who their consumers are. So from the Barterra Pay perspective, we say to those businesses, those advertisers, those marketers, if you want to advertise your product to consumer X and consumer X has data and intel about themselves that they wish to share with you, you know, we can facilitate that exchange. So that's essentially what the product is, you know, and, and we felt that the problem that we were trying to solve were twofold. One, we do not benefit from our data being used. You know, if you look at the likes of Facebook, Google, YouTube, et cetera, they are making billions, you know, in terms of revenue on the back of our data. You know, and we don't think that's right. We don't think that's fair. And we believe that we should benefit from that. And from a business perspective, a problem that we're solving is how can they have tailored targeting to us as a consumer how can they engage with us as a consumer and to do so effectively they need intelligence and they need insights but more importantly they need data that we have consented to give to them so that's the problem we solve from both the b2b and the b2c perspective your solution is made up of three elements fundamental what can you tell us about it well, again, uh, I, I outlined 
three elements, you know, but as part of the broader offering, you know, again, giving us the consumers the ability to, to, to see what data is out there. Um, and we do so, for example, by offering consumers an innovative um, app um, where they can, can download and they can, can profile and answer questions and share data about themselves if they wish. So that gives them the ability to control their data. So they know that, do I want to share whether I like pizzas, whether I like pineapple on my pizza? I know in, in Italy, that's a, a big no-no, uh, but in the UK, we do love pineapples on pizza. Uh, but we give users the ability to, to collate information and data about themselves so they can see that they can control it. And then the ability to monetize it comes from a matching of, of our B2C offering and our B2B offering. So if you are a business, as an example, and you are looking to launch, let's say you're Coca-Cola and you want to launch a new flavor of Coke, you go into the Barterra Pay platform and then you can select a criteria. You can say, I want to look at a thousand women in London over the age of 20, who likes pineapples on their pizza. Our platform will figure out based on the information that you want to share who that demographic is. And if you fit that criteria, it will ping you a notification and say, hello, Coca-Cola wants to launch a new product. They want to launch a mission. Do you want to participate? So we are giving you the choice. Do you want to share your data with Coke? If so, click yes. And then Coca-Cola knows exactly what target they have. And that is how we, 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 we fix those problems and how we solve those problems, you know, and how we launch you know, our solution. What are your objective and the next step for the near future? Well, this is a question that needs more elaboration. When you say next steps, next steps in terms of our journey as, an, as, a, as a startup or next steps in terms of where do we see the industry moving, you know, in terms of data, which, which are you referring to? Uh, industry moving, I think, is the best way. I'm sorry? Industry moving. Industry, and, okay. Yes. Well, we feel that eventually the market's going to be moving to data that's consented, okay? So, for example, if you look at companies utilizing cookies, you know, that's a big no-no. So in terms of moving forward, what we want to do essentially is build an economy, a data economy, where consumers can, can, can choose to monetize their data or not. And if they choose to monetize their data, we will target them, match them with businesses who want to consume that data and offer a fair exchange. And that's where we see the market, one where businesses are utilizing targeted consent and information to offer superior experiences and products to consumers, and one where consumers can be happy if they choose to share their data and get rewarded for it. And about the next future, what uh, can you tell to our audience? About the future? Yes. The future for us, well, for me, is <laughs> one where the currency, mm. Currency will change. People will start to pay for things. People will start to in, in a, a medium of exchange through their data. Because there will be so much information and data out there, the need you know, to use traditional fiat you know, type uh, payment mechanisms, we feel, uh, will no longer be needed. You know, and again, call me crazy, uh, but I, I, I see one where a future people are paying for their the everyday items with their data. That's where I see the future going. <laughs> Thank you so much, Java, for uh, your presentation about Bartiro Pay and, uh, of course, your vision about the, the future. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much to our audience and uh, see you soon.